A group of people determined to stop the killing of deer in Mill Creek Metro Parks held a meeting tonight on Youngstown's west side. They talked about the possibility of a lawsuit and even getting rid of the commissioners on the Metro Parks board. Here's First News anchor Stan Boney. Within walking distance of Mill Creek Park at the Assumption Social Center, about 60 people, including city council members and Mahoning County commissioners, met for an update on how to stop the killing of deer to control the population. This is just a, a pompous, arrogant attempt to take away from the park what technically is the people's. Boardman resident Chuck Johnson led the meeting, questioning the pictures used by Mill Creek Metro Parks to determine an overpopulation of deer. Johnson, a former commercial pilot, called them contaminated. So when you see some of those pictures where they have a group of like five deer, and those deer are the same signatures as trees and stuff like that, you know that the temperatures are the same. That's coming from the exhaust of the airplane. Johnson says they submitted requests yesterday to the Metro Parks and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources for additional information on the process of the deer count. They'll give them 30 days to respond. We're kind of setting, setting up for what we refer to as a taxpayer lawsuit which really doesn't cost that much money after we've done all the research that we've done. Johnson also talked about dissolving the current park board through a ballot initiative in Mahoning County. To get it on the ballot would require 25% of the votes cast in the last presidential election, which was 93,000. Johnson estimated they would need 25,000 signatures. Now, even if we don't reach the 25,000 limit, if we get enough people circulating petitions and stuff like that, I think they would kind of take this movement a, a little more seriously than they have. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.